Brow's death was built to quell the elven threat, and with years of preparation, they were ready for war. In the year 127, Brass Death engaged Elven forces at Valley Glimmer, starting the War of Squeezing. Months passed, and after seeing the efficiency of the soldiers of Brass Death in dispatching the Elven soldiers, the Dwarven civilization, the Salve of Moistness, assured its citizens that victory would be swift. Brass Death had cut a path straight to the Elven capital of the Maw of Tones, with victory em eminent, the Dwarven commander Erush led her soldiers on to the capital to kill the elven leaders and end the war. But just as victory seemed certain, a villain appeared in the elven trees. Kakam Pax saved, the princess of the Maw of Tones. The dwarves laughed at the sight of elves brandishing wooden swords and charged into the fray. However, unknown to the dwarves, they were facing the greatest military genius the world had ever seen. With her brilliant tactical genius, the elven princess entirely outwitted Erush, and captured most all of the army of Brass Death. She let three escape, though, so that the story may be told, and fear seep into the hearts of dwarves. The elves named the battle the Crazy Sieges, as if to mock dwarven kind. With the dwarven military forces captured, Princess Kakam Paxave was emboldened to strike at the heart of the dwarven offensive, Brass Death. Her forces overwhelmed the dwarves, and just as victory dawned for the elves, a sound was heard coming from outside the fortress. A gnashing of teeth, a scratching of claws, the rattle of bones. The hordes of the undead attacked and left none alive. After the crazy sieges and destruction of Brass Death, news of the elven princess Kakam Paxay's tactical genius spread like wildfire among the surrounding civilizations. Fear and panic gripped the people. Therefore, the Goblin King of the Dwarven Civilization, the Salve of Moistness, called on his most trusted advisors and held council. The councils decided that a frontal military assault on Kakam Paxave would be suicide. Thus, they decided to send the assassin to slay the princess.